hi everyone welcome back to my channel life with tim today's video i'll be showing you how i made this easy diy beaded daisy string so guys sit back relax and enjoy this video to my old subscribers thank you for always coming back to watch my videos to my new subscribers thank you and welcome to the family and if you are just seeing my video for the first time don't hesitate to click on the subscribe button like comment and share as you can see in this video i'm using a seed bead in color yellow in color gold and in color green at the other side of my tray i have my thread which i'll be using which is called fishing line in 0 0.35 mm and a cutter to cut my um, thread so guys let's get started to start with i'll be cutting a reasonable amount of fishing line i'll be picking five gold seed beads i'll be picking four of the green seed beads two three four and one of the i picked four of the green one of the yellow so the next thing to do now is passing our needle backwards through the first green beads so once you pass the the rope through the first seed bead you're going to get this shape then the next step is for you to pick three green seed beads then you will be passing it into the first seed bead after the yellow the first seed bead facing opposites up that means facing up not backward this time then you tighten your rope to make it firm so this is what you'll be getting this is what you'll be getting so this is the string this is the daisy pattern also known as a flower pattern so the next thing to do again is picking five seed, seed beads one two three four five then bring it down pick up four seeds be seed beads one two three four and one yellow seed bead just like the way we did it at the first stage so um in case you don't really get it at the first first stage this is the second stage whereby you can as well get it so this is what you get five gold ring um seed bead four green and one yellow okay so we'll be passing through the first bead here downwards to form one side of the flower pattern this is what you get after that remember it's downward we passed through the thread downward so this is what you'll get after that so the next thing to do is picking three green seed beads one two three and this time around we will be facing opposites which is upward 
you pass it through the first green seed bead and then you bring it out of the thread tighten it your flower is formed your daisy pattern is formed so this is how you be repeating this method until you get to your desired length you can actually use this design for bracelets make use of this pattern to form a beautiful necklace so this is what you get this is how it looks like you keep repeating the pattern until you get to your desired size 